we're going to have a problem funding your loan because we did some checking and it turns out there's five frozen yogurt places right within a one mile radius. Hey, stranger. Hey, it's you. I, I'm thinking about opening an account here. Great. Yeah, I don't have a lot of money. I have uh, $7.35. I'd like to put some of it into a T-bill, some of it into the stock market, and the rest I'd just like to save for a rainy day. Would you think about marrying me? <laughs> All right. I deserve that. No, I'm serious. I was thinking about what you said the other night. Oh, God. Everything I said the other night was such a turnoff. I, was, I went completely overboard. It was typical Susan. You know what? There was some of that. But, Susan, what is your last name? Um, Hart. Susan Hart, would you do me the honor of marrying me? You're serious. I'm serious, Susan. I want to marry you. I mean, I could court you for three months or six months or a year, and we could really get to know each other and then break up. Or we could do something that I think we both want now, and that's have a child. Wow. And I just came in to ask you to lunch. You really mean this? Yes. Can I think about it? Well, if you think you have to. Oh. Mm. His room will be perfect for the baby. Oh, you have a baby. We're having one in about six months. Congratulations. That's wonderful. I'm sure they'll accept our offer. You're going to be very happy here. Well, thanks for everything. You've been great. We'll talk to you soon. What? Why don't you just fuck her right in front of me? You're never getting pregnant again. Never. It's insanity. Come on, Suze, you're off the booze, you're off the musicians, you're finally free of all that bullshit, and now you want to get married? And to a man you barely know? Don't make me put together an intervention. I don't have time for that. Thank you. Where the hell's the waiter? This is Susan's life. She knows what's best for her. It's not our place to pass judgment. That's right. If she wants to get married and make a complete idiot of herself, then it's her choice. Is that the waiter? Hello? No, that's just a gay guy without a jacket. Why is getting married a bad choice? Oh, please. Oh, come on, she doesn't even know the man. Well, there's something to be said for going to the end of the diving board and jumping off. I mean, life is short. Yeah, until you marry the wrong guy, and then it gets pretty goddamn long. Amen. You know, I am almost completely dehydrated. Well, what do you want to do, Susan? I mean, what are you feeling? I can tell you exactly what she's thinking. She thinks being single is great, but then she goes out onto the street, or she goes into people's homes, and then she just sees these babies everywhere. They're taking over. I used to think the very same thing, and then I would look at those little shits, and it would make me so angry, because it looks like they're taunting you by saying, why don't you have one of me yet? Why are you such a big loser? You don't like my baby? Liz, your baby's adorable. As soon as her head gets normal, she's gonna be gorgeous, Liz. Her head is normal? No, no, no wait I just a minute. I wanna find out more about this guy. Is he rich? Ask that. Why not? Because she doesn't know, okay? And how can you have a child with a man that you don't even know? Excuse me, you were artificially inseminated, remember? Yes, I was, but I knew the technician longer than she's known this guy. I'm out of time. Oh, do you really have to go? No. I'm running out of time. No, I think that would be great. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, hold on, someone's on the other line. Hello. Hi, Harold. It's me. Hey, me. Yes. The answer is yes. I will marry you. Hold on a second. Uh, Debbie, listen, I'm not going to be able to go rollerblading with you this weekend after all. I'm getting married. Bye. I'm back, Mrs. Anderson. <laughs> I like the sound of that. Me too.